What is going on guys? Today we're gonna to be upgrading the trunnion in our stock 5.3 rocker arms. They are a needle bearing that is just press fit into the body and then it kind of, it's like a half moon, only pivots just a little bit versus we're gonna go with a Michigan Motorsports trunnion upgrade. It's still a needle bearing, but they're snap ringed in and you get 100% free travel out of it. So. I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. Uh, everything that comes with it, seal bearing, the center pivot section, not exactly sure what that's called, snap rings, new bolts, everything you need to do. Uh, the only tool, you'll specialty tool you'll need is an arbor press. You could probably get away with a uh, vise or I don't know, C-clamp maybe. It's gonna take a lot longer. Arbor press, 65 bucks at Harbor Freight, $70 out the door. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so uh, you got your arbor press set up. You're just going to get your stock rocker arm set in there. Get you a socket. This is a 7 16 And you will just ease it on down. So one-ton press. Presses the bearing right out. I have to fiddle with it, get it completely out. There's the old bearing. So then your rocker arm completely clean. Just go ahead and clean out any of the old oil from the surfaces. In a perfect world, these would already be clean. Grab your new Michigan Motorsports bearing. It has a plastic cap holding the bearings in. So you're just gonna turn your plate, set down your rocker arm, Make sure you kind of get the bearing pretty straight, get it started, and then you will just press it in until it bottoms out, go back up. Then you will grab your like, rocker arm pivot, just kind of feed it in. You see that plastic cap will end up pushing out. Then you will grab one of your spacer washers that come in your kit. Set it over there. Grab your second bearing. Slide it over, cap comes out, bearings are in. Grab your second spacer washer, center it over your bearings, body. Press till it bottoms out, spacer washer comes off. Grab you your snap ring pliers and a snap ring. Make sure it's seated in the groove on all the sides. Flip it over, set it in your washer. That's just so it don't go nowhere. Grab you a second snap ring. Make sure it's seated in the grooves and you're done. Super simple to install. Arbor Press obviously helps. Uh, you wanna make sure it's not like this one's bound up a little bit. Give it a good smack, kind of releases the pressure on it. And you're good to go. You can see it pivots fine, it's real smooth. So the half moons only kind of allow you to rock back and forth. This one will give you a full 360. Obviously you don't need a 360, but a lot more free travel. Super simple upgrade. Ensures your motor is gonna be a little healthier. Uh, higher lift cams can kind of wear out those needle bearings a little quicker, make them fail. High mileage motor could do the same. This is just extra insurance if you're running a higher lift performance cam or you got a higher mileage motor. Relatively cheap upgrade. They do have more expensive kits. I think you can buy some like bronze bushing type ones and some others. This is a, like I said, Michigan Motorsports. I'll put a link down in the description to the kit I used. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description for the Arbor Press. You probably get away with a vise. You probably get away with a C clamp, just depending on how much time you want to take. This is like a I mean, it took me 30 seconds to do one rocker arm. So if you like the video, guys, like, comment, subscribe, share it. We'll catch you on the next one.